Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. How people can give back by becoming an IRS Certified Volunteer. IRS Tax Tip 2020-174, December 18th, 2020. The IRS and its community partners are looking for people around the country to become IRS Certified Volunteers for the upcoming tax season. There's a link to the volunteers here. There's a link to the upcoming tax season here. These long-standing programs offer valuable help to America's taxpayers. It might be good practice as well just to be involved or be in the process of these programs. Looks good on the resume as well, so it's good for everybody involved here. We have the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance offers free tax return preparation to eligible taxpayers who generally earn $57,000 or less, people with disabilities and limited English-speaking taxpayers. And then we have the tax counseling for the elderly is mainly for people age 60 or older. Although the program focuses on tax issues unique to seniors, most taxpayers can usually get free assistance. AARP participants in the TCE program through the AARP tax aid. So note, it might be a good idea. You want to have an idea of these two kind of zones of where you're going to be doing preparation of taxes. The volunteer tax assistance, most likely you're going to be working with people that possibly are below a threshold of, of income. And that's kind of a specialty area on, on working on those tax returns. And then when, when you're working on the tax counseling for the elderly, now you're talking about people that are over a certain age limit and there's some uh, tax preparation that could be unique to those areas as well as you're dealing with uh, with people but that might be getting income uh, income from from that age bracket which could differ and might have different kind of tax planning needs and whatnot so it's good to, good to get practice in both of these areas or know which one would be best suited for you to be working in new processes make volunteering safe and easy to keep everyone safe uh, potential volunteers can tune in virtually to learn more about the programs ask questions and find out which volunteer role is right for them some volunteer sites will offer virtual help to taxpayers in place of face-to-face -face assistance this allows volunteers to help taxpayers complete their tax returns over the phone or online other volunteers will conduct a virtual quality review with the taxpayers before e-filing their tax return. While virtual volunteering will be an option this tax season, some VITA and TCE sites will still offer in-person free tax help. Safety and social distancing will be emphasized during face-to-face -face interactions. There are many available volunteer roles. There's links to the volunteer roles here. We have the greeter to help screen taxpayers to determine uh, the type of assistance they need and notice of course these roles you know you can be part of the process even though even if you don't have a whole lot of experience possibly uh, if you take on one of these roles where you could get then uh, some access to the, the process <clears throat> get some experience within within the process possibly and again looks good on the resume and whatnot so here are the roles we have we got the greeter uh, to help screen taxpayers to determine the type of assistance they need we got the in interpreters to provide language services, tax preparers to use electronic filing software to complete tax returns, and then we have the tax coaches at some sites to encourage taxpayers to prepare their own tax returns and help them through the process. So other benefits in volunteering include volunteers can work flexible hours, volunteers can generally choose their own hours and days to volunteer, the programs are usually open from late January through the tax filing deadline in April. Some sites are even open all year. No prior experience needed. Volunteers receive specialized training to become IRS cert certified. They can also choose from a variety of volunteer roles to, ser to serve taxpayers. VITA and TCE programs want volunteers of all backgrounds and agents as well as, as, well as individuals who are fluent in other languages. So the fact that there's uh, no experience needed to basically pick up a role of some kind within the process means that uh, people that are looking for kind of experience might be able to pick that up again could look good on the resume could get some experience in kind of a tax preparation type of process uh, within it maybe get some advice as you're as you're helping out as well so the IRS provides free tax law training and materials. Volunteers receive training materials at no charge. The tax law training covers how to prepare basic federal tax returns electronically. The training also covers tax topics like deductions and credits. 
So we get some free tax law training here, so that might be worthwhile as well to, to uh, pick up. Tax pros can earn continuing education credits. Enrolled agents and non-credential tax return preparers can earn continuing education. There's a link to that here. Credits when volunteering as a VITA slash TCE instructor, quality reviewer, or tax return preparer. People can sign up through the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program by visiting the Sign Up page on irs.gov. There's a link to the Sign Up page here. Shortly after signing up, interested participants will receive an invite to attend a virtual orientation. IRS YouTube video uh, is here too. We have the vol Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Recruitment on YouTube, IRS uh, YouTube video that you can take a look at. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.